Hello everyone, and welcome back to Surge Plays Deponia. This is the final episode. This is the culmination of everything that has ever happened up to date so far. This is when lines will be crossed in the sand and uh, people's true identities will be revealed. This is what's going to happen. So, uh, after we learned that uh, Cletus essentially is working for the Organon, and he wants goal for something called Ascension Codes, we've decided that we are going to confront him about this and just figure out overall what exactly is going on. After that, who knows what we're going to do. But we know that it's going to involve goal, it's going to involve Cletus, and it's going to involve the Organon. So let's go see what that sneaky rat is up to. Shouldn't be too hard. There he is right up there, being a jerk. Going up the other. Now we just gotta wait for the elevator to come back down. No problem at all. And there he is. Jerk face. Greasy hairdo, ugly cape, and stiff collar. What does Gold see in this wuss? Cletus, Rufus, finally, I face you. Wrong. It's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Goal? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect. Genius. No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring gold to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No gold, no deal. So what now? What is the agreement? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom. Boom? Yes, boom. The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast, of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? What will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, physically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, there were rumors. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now, guess who this inspector is? Uh... I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh. One thing that I don't understand, besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose customs duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up. Right? Hmm. No, wrong. Ulysses explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... Blow up Deponia? That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. It's not really a looker. It's not really a place for someone like me. But I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots who wouldn't even recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to their cabbages. But blow it up. Yes, blow it up. Demolish, cremate, eradicate. Just like that. Whoa. I think I've missed something here. But you haven't missed that Deponia is about to be blown out, have you? Yeah, yeah, boom, and so on. And that I have to inspect Deponia on orders from Elysium to examine rumors about life on the surface. Yes, got that too. And will I tell them the truth? 
No, you'll keep your mouth shut about life on Deponia, so that Deponia will get blown up anyway. Oh, bravo! You really did understand everything. Yes! Oh boy, am I good! I'm so incredibly good! <laughs> oh. Well, I don't care at all, but... Goal won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Goal has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Goal's personality. I knew that. Goal's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories. Up until she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants, she will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! But it's sparkling. All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh, yes. How much do you hate Deponia? There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. There are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. It stinks. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? <laughs> okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls. The whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You can wash my ass disappear. I'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds. What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me out. You hear me, Dad? Count me out. And you know something else? I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium. Look at me. Who's the filthy little litter bug now? Huh? Who's the litter bug now? <sighs> okay. You really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? The Organon really plans to blow up Deponia? Hmm, exactly. That kablooey! <laughs> Do you have any problems with that? All right, gotta go All for right. this again. Oh yes, how much? Okay. The Organon... Ah, kablooey! Gotta go through it again. All right. Oh yes. Okay, let's... So, the deal is still on? Only if you keep your side of the bargain. And you, yours. Ladies first. Grrr. Why should I trust you? Why should I trust you? I ask first. Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. You wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. Oh yeah? Well, you're even much, much uglier. Oh yes. Have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. <laughs> stop repeating everything I say. Only if you stop repeating everything I say. But you're the one who's repeating everything I say. No, it's you. No, it's you! Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Alright, I think we've uh, exhausted everything that we can here with this conversation. I'll go and fetch goal, finally. Alright, so yes. Now we want to go fetch goal. But we still have a tiny problem. That Organon, Argus, is in the way. And we can't let him see us. So we're gonna have to sneak our way through that. First, let's use this gum on this embellishment. 
And that somehow creates deadly a projectile assumption. weapon. Check. Yeah, I don't get it either. So we're gonna load it. Ammunition. Check. But here's the real kicker. We're gonna put this into the oil tank lid. Then we're gonna mix that. With this mop, the flag would look like Cletus from behind. But there's still something missing. A hat? No. Yes. Y'all are seeing where I'm going with this. If I'm gonna get past him, I need to shoot at that light. And I need to look like someone in the dark. So, I'm building a disguise. All hands, battle stations! Keep calm, Argus. We're on a junk planet here. I'm rather surprised that this lamp didn't blow up earlier. Just like this whole planet should. So, please carry on. Okay, so that happened. And of course, it was only good for one shot. So let's go ahead and make an extendo thing. And with this, we are going to grab at that lampshade. Mmm, that would make a perfect wig with a collar. Unfortunately... Okay, first with the flag. Because we have to do it in order. <laughs> Together with the lampshade, the flag looks... Now all that's missing... And so we'll put that with that. This'll be even cooler than my old lampshade routine. Now I'll put Genius. it on. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Now, weren't you supposed to be waiting out on the platform? Well, I just wanted to stretch my legs for a minute. You can't really see very much from up there anyway. <clears throat> Somehow, I don't like your attitude. Well, everyone else loves my attitude. I hope you didn't forget about our agreement. How could I? So, you do have the cartridge. Uh... Yes? Well, where is it? Oop, I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> I must have left it out on the platform. Hurry up, man. Time is running out. Okay, so now we gotta go talk about that stupid cartridge. Otherwise, we won't be able to pass it. The Organon said something about a backup cartridge. Now that is none of your business. You take me to go, and I'll take you along to Elysium. We didn't agree on anything beyond that. So I guess we won't be... No. I need the backup cartridge. Oh, I'll have to disappoint you. It won't help your lack of brain capacity, I'm afraid. I still need it. And what, pray tell, do you need it for? Goal is unconscious. What did you do? Was her implant damaged? Don't worry, she's okay. Yes, yes, okay, great. But what about the implant? Is the implant still working? I think so, yeah. What do you mean you think so? Without Goal's implant, I'll never be able to leave Deponia. So why don't you give me that damn cartridge so I can go and wake her up? Yes, yes, okay, fine. Here's the cartridge. But wow. as soon as she's awake, you'll bring her here immediately. Understand? And God help you if the implant is damaged. You really love her, don't you? This goes to show you, Rufus may be selfish and egotistical, but at least he's not a fucking backwards evil bastard jerk. Also, using logic for a change instead of weird coincidental... Logic, or whatever. It's not logic, it's just good luck, I suppose. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? 
It's me, Cletus. Well? Well, what? The cartridge. Did you find it? Of course. Here it is. Don't panic. Where? I can hardly make out anything. And why are you lurking around in the shadows like that anyway? Come into the light where I can see you, man. I, uh... Well, I... But my dear bailiff, I beg of you a bit more courtesy. Don't forget, we're all working to reach the same goal here. Let the ambassador pass. The faster he finds this Rufus person, and by extension the Ascension Codes, the sooner we can follow through with our mission. As you wish, sir. I do believe that the Ambassador has very well understood the seriousness of our current situation. I'm sure he is aware that he has only this one chance to retrieve the Ascension Codes. And if that fails, we'll employ our own methods of retrieving them. Isn't that right, Ambassador? Uh, of course, sir. <clears throat> Oh boy, that was pretty close. I think I can get rid of the disguise for now. I doubt they'll fall for that a second time anyway. Probably not. Alright, so now we need to go... Go up. And... Now we can go check out the goal. Goal? Goal! Darn it, she's gone! What happened here? Did the Organons found her? No, that's impossible. They would have mentioned it. But who else could have taken her? Hmm. We really need to find out. I have to find her before that Argus guy does. Maybe there's a trail. Oh, what happened here? Fortunately, the lamps are making the phosphor glow. I wouldn't have seen that trace in the dark, even if I had used my sonar powers. Aha! Uh -huh. A trace! It seems that Gold was dragged toward the exit. Don't worry, babe. Rufus to the rescue! There's something else that okay, let's... My bad. Let there be light. Still gotta follow the logic of the puzzle after all. That's one thing about adventure games are so serious about. The trace ends at this fence. No great in the world can hold me back. A pile of filthy syringes. Who throws out something like that? Well, free choice. Ouch! Not this one. Ouch! Oh, God! <laughs> huh. This one respects me. I'll take it. Hey, this isn't a syringe at all. <laughs> I've literally found the straw in a needle stack. Who else can claim such a thing about himself? No one. That's who. Okay, let's see. What else is there? There's I'll save there. you, Goal. Rufus to the rescue! Okay, let's see if we can't move the grave. A monster must have abducted Goal. No normal human being could open that with bare hands. Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. 
there's a whale. Wow, a real whale. I always wanted Dad to take me to the aquarium, but he was right. There was only room enough for me in that fish tank. Huh, the whale looks hungry. Well, we got a problem for that. We've got glowing bait. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here I am, behind the cracked window. <laughs> Stupid animal. That probably didn't do anything bad at all. Where are we? Well, there's a chest here. Ah, oh, locked. Distrustful bunch, these pirates. A harmless trawler. The perfect disguise for pirates and slave traders. Okay. So let's go inside. There's nothing else for us to do but go inside. Oh my. Well, who have we here? What? Welcome to Bozo's Trash Trawler. I'm Bozo. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! What? I don't want to shoot you. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I'll just get my girlfriend and we'll leave. No reason to get violent. So, that's the illusion you were talking about? Doc, what are you doing here? Did this pirate kidnap you too? Don't worry, I'll save you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a pirate, and I didn't kidnap anyone either. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I haven't got much time. I need to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. What? Why should the Organon blow up Deponia? I, uh, no, I can't tell you uh, anymore. I'm on the track of a conspiracy of enormous proportions. I, uh, <clears throat> I can't get you involved in all this. You don't know yourself, do you? Well, that's, <laughs> that's confidential, too. All I can tell you is this. I have to find a way to wake up Goal. Well, then you've come aboard the right trawler. I know a lot about brain implants. Just like me. I guess the cartridge was damaged. Hand it over for a second. Um... Just press the eject button. Hey, keep away or you'll board the pain train. Pain train? Who do you think I am? Just wanted to help you. Yeah, whatever. Uh, almost dropped it. Hold your horses, young man. Such a cartridge has to be handled with loving care. One scratch, and your girlfriend is nothing but organic waste. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Do you have the cartridge? Sure do. There you go. That was the complicated part, right? Stop joking and show me. Ah, yes. What's your diagnosis? Um, the battery's down? Well, in that case, there's nothing we can do. We should scrap the thing and... Wait a minute. You're just messing with me, aren't you? There's just some dust on the contact pins. That's all. Yeah, and you totally fell for it. Well, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Clean the pins and reinsert it. You mean, I should dust? You sound like my ex-girlfriend. Did you scrap her, too, because her battery was down? Ooh. Mm, something like that, yeah. Okay, let's see. There's a key. Hey, you've stolen my key. And you have kidnapped my girlfriend. Oh. <sighs> She was not kidnapped, and I can put her back out into the cold if you prefer. And how are you going to do that all without a key? Not a problem. My door is always open. So, you shouldn't be wondering when things get stolen around here all the time. That's some weird kind of circular logic you got there, Rufus. I wouldn't take that feather duster. I use it to clean the tanks. Oh, sounds promising enough. If you can clean a tank with it, then it must work twice as well for a measly cartridge. I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's see. I believe there's one more thing we need. And that's to open this case and take whatever's inside it. Shouldn't be too bad. There! 
open. Let's get rid of the key. Well, what have we here? A small brush, miniature bellows, a sealed pack of hand wipes. What <laughs> useless junk. I want to clean a cartridge, not refurbish a doll's house. Ah, yes. This looks much better. A steel brush. And a bottle of degreaser. I'll, uh, leave the girly stuff. Okay, that happened. So let's go ahead and clean this thing. This is supposed to be good, but her most important memory is missing. Me. Yeah, this one. Goal's memory is stored on it. Caution advised. Hmm. Ah, well, that's just a tiny speck of dust. We'll have that cleaned up in no time. Oh, ugh. the duster has dusted everything in dust, and, oh, oh no, grease spot. I'll have to give it the once-over. This doesn't have to be clean. Ugh. No good. What a mess. Maybe I should have washed my hands. Another grease spot? Oh no, this is beyond help. <laughs> Good thing I still have an ace up my sleeve. The steel brush. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Good as new! And those scratches could have come from anywhere. So, did you clean the contact pins yet? Yep. All clean and shiny. Very good. Show me. Just a minute. Did this have those scratches before? What? Oh, those. I noticed them before. Inconceivable how those young ladies treat their brain implants these days, isn't it? Yes. And they don't even have to eject them from their drives either. Inconceivable. Well, oh. a couple of scratches. They can't be too grave, can they? Talking about grave, has someone engraved his name and a little heart on there? Uh, you better give that back. It'll work just fine. Well, it has to. You? No. Give me a second. You are Rolfie. Rufus. I recognize you. How is that big hall? And then I remember a hospital ward. There were other people too. Deponians. So it is true. Deponia is inhabited. The Organon lied to us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh-so-wonderful fiancé is in cahoots with the Organon. Cletus is... what? Ah, uh, my head. Maybe you should sit down first. But I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt, and hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute, wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, you don't remember anything. Be that as it may, you can thank me later. Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well, yes. Thank junk, I could fix everything. 
Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right again. Exactly. The Organon wants to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. Cletus is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited, the monster! Exactly! <laughs> You've been kidnapped by a pirate. How often do I have to repeat myself? I'm a garbage dealer. I just wanted to help. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. He won't hurt you. Of course I won't. Why would I do that? You see? I'm protecting you. <laughs> Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. Huh. <laughs> Hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Okay, shoot! We should take over the Organon cruiser. While you're distracting the crew, I'll sneak onto the bridge. Once I'm there, I'll dress up as the helmsman by making a false beard from a brush and some glue. After that, we'll just have to find a length of cable and a screwdriver and, uh... Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you... Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah, and we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? Usually I can't stand wise guys, but Doc's a regular cool guy. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. Well, can I help in any way? <laughs> nice try, but I'm not gonna fall for it. <laughs> I'm not conning you. I... Don't you even try, Blackbeard. I suggest a truce. Not because I'm scared of you, but out of consideration for the lady, okay? I don't even have any weapons. Are you calling me a coward? If you want to fight, you just have to say so. What's going on here? Do you even listen to what I say? Huh, I thought as much, you chicken. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I'm just sitting here. That's right. That's right. Ah, uh, you doing all right? <laughs> never better. I have never been better. Never been better. Never been better. Never been better. Better. Thanks for everything, Rufus. Ah, not a problem. But we're not in Elysium yet. Let's hurry, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's. Okay, so let's take off. Uh-oh. That's Argus and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, 
Did you hear that? Yeah, I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey! Get to work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of the key just in our way. Go get him, Tiger. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that would really... But if I go for a swim, and I don't have the equipment... I hope Gold is watching. This is something that I'll only do once. I'll save my telecat. I'll save my. T Ow! What was that? Did you hear that too? Sounded pretty miserable. Yes, it did. Well, I don't think we need to be frightened of an animal that makes sounds like that. It's probably physically challenged. <laughs> Crap. As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything in here. Okay, let's see. I'll save my. T I'll save my. T okay, no, no, no. I gotta go to the front store. Ow! Okay. Come on, I can do this. Ow! As long as the top. I'll save my tail. Try the left one. Ow! As long as... Okay, there we go. Ow! I'll save my... T Come on. I'll save my telekinetic. As long as the t okay, come on. Ow! As long as the top is uh, come on. I'll save my t I'll save my okay, foot exit. Ow! Ow! I'll save my tele- Ow! As long as the- I'll save my- Oh, there's a pipe over here. <laughs> the bone shat Ugh, which brings us to plan Yes, okay, I remember. Put the fork in the horn. And then fire. What was that? Meow. No, that was not a cat. That was something big. A cow! A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk! So it would seem. Shh, stupid animal. Whew. It's a good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. <laughs> Ow! No, forget it. There's nothing there.
Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. Whew, damn critter. They'd make a great, but too j- What was that? Now forget it, there's not- Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. <laughs> Here we are, guys, at the last stretch of the race. You excited? Because I know I am. That wasn't half bad. Hey, half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Now, oh, come on. We need to hurry. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiancé, Go. Finally, I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting deponium. What a bizarre thought. Oh, contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that, <laughs> Rufus. Very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, Honey Bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough. You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh yeah, finally, final, um, fi 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 final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, of, of course. <clears throat> Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but Shoo shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while, then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Gold must be deleted. And we need the Ascension Codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. That, that, that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> Yikes. Here we go, to the plan. You can't be serious! People are living here, Cletus! I've seen them with my own eyes! I already told you, Ulysses is right. We can't... Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally! I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with Gaul. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go, tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. <laughs> and you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. 
I already told you that you shouldn't eat me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told I already told Besides, that doesn't sound I think he does huh. This one man Look at the way he discussed You two go ahead and sort But <laughs> And you're planning to elope Don't make me You can't even hold a candle to Rufus Enlightenment is not his strong suit What have we here? A second disguise Let's see who's the better Cletus Rufus has more in his head than you have. Yeah, yes, well, and I'm sure you could feed three horses with it. Almost as good as my handmade disguise. Ha <laughs> ha! The inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. <laughs> I'll put my stuff here for now. You can't even All right, hold that's a candle enough. to Rufus. Enlightenment is not his... <laughs> So this is the wimp you don't make. Don't make me laugh. I already, I already, besides, that doesn't, I think he does. Huh. Be this one man, f he can try and put on my, and infest them with, there is still one thing. Oh my. <laughs> Dumbass. Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> my birthmark, you dumbass. Yeah, what are you doing? Ouch! No, don't! <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, you totally deserve ha! that, and that felt really good. <laughs> yeah! We did it! We really did it! On to Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go to Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gole. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. Gole, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge, just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gole, don't. Gole, listen. You don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. <sighs> and yes, you have to do this. Oh, Gull. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Bother! What next? Argus! About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand. You can't be serious. You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me. Why not? He is indeed a lying rat. Hey. But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job. He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium, and he'll get the girl. He'll get everything he ever dreamed of. 
Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that. Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve. He'll never take that risk. Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. You want me to roll for a while? No, no. Don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back rub, okay? I guess so. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um... Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm? Onto Elysium and all that, yes? No? Um... What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then, on to Elysium, right? On to Elysium. Come on. You can do better than that, can't you? Uh, on to Elysium. And once more, with more enthusiasm. Say goal. Yes? Um... It's like this. I'm all ears. Well... What are you stammering about? Spit it out. It's just that... You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? All right then. I'm gonna tell you now, but you have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? Calm down! Relax! Relax! Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiancé, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But that'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove this fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Ooh. Fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. Ugh! Lace? <laughs> he can keep those. Is it? Stop ogling like If I die, you'll be s because it would have been your f oh. Go faster! We need those codes! Yes, Bailiff. You do know what's at stake. If Ulysses had had his way, we'd all perish here on Deponia. Yes, Bailiff. Any problems here? No, Prime Controller, sir. Just a relay that short-circuited. This matter is of no concern now. I want to address the crew before we head on to Portofisco. Immediately! As you wish, Prime Controller. You heard the man. Get moving! It's now or never.
Hello. Surprised, are we? I bet you thought you finally made it, huh? Lady Luck loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing, and immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. I don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I could have left already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gold's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. Ha, <laughs> you wish. What is going ah, on here? The Organon. Always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff, but I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I will return to Elysium no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving goal. So what do you say? Do we have an agreement? L let's talk this over. And why, pray tell, should I listen to you? I just want the cartridge. Nothing else. Okay, you win. Here's the cartridge. <laughs> How unusually reasonable of you. <laughs> and I bet that Goal would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. My, my, my. Deponio will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. <laughs> I hate that guy. Cletus? What? What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We two were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything. But take a look around. Deponia really is deserted. Unbelievable. Nothing but junk. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long, and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh yes, the cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! <laughs> So long, suckers! What? Uh, no! Get that traitor! Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge. Uh, bravo, Prime Controller, sir! Beat Depona. See you later. No! Stop! Hey! Oof. What are you doing? Stop! 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 Ah, you damn fool! Let go! Uh-oh. Uh ah! Oh, 
god, right into the pile of needles. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Back so soon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty impressive fall. And you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. <laughs> it doesn't even matter what you pick. There. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good. Great. Fine. Are you all right, Rufus? You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but, uh, is Deponia safe? That's out of my hands now. Now look at you startled, the brain implant cartridge has not been swapped, which was all part of the plan. A world has been rescued that he did detest, who'd have guessed, I attest, you'd have done just the same. So if you still want to force me to do stupid chores, like washing the dishes to the trash and such, you'll just prove that you haven't paid attention to what I said. The message at its course like, huzzah as a rule. Huzzah, the chorus guys rule. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is uh, this has been Deponia, one of my favorite games. Uh, I should say one of my favorite adventure games. Um, I had a lot of time sharing it with you guys, uh, a lot of fun time sharing it with you guys, and I hope it was at, at least as entertaining as it was engaging for me. Um, I plan on doing the series, of course, but they'll come at a later date after I've done a few other things here or there. However, you should stay tuned and keep an eye out for the continuing adventures of Rufus. And with that said, guys, with this chapter of the story closed, I bid you a fond adieu. Take care.